Welcome back to the Seahawks franchise where we're going to be taking on the Atlanta Falcons who are 5-2 and two and are a serious threat in the NFC. Especially to us, we have got to win this game. We are 4-3. and three. The Rams are 6-1. and one. They're likely to have a good season. So I cannot afford a loss here to the Falcons. They are highly explosive. Their defense is ranked top three or four in sacks and interceptions. We do have Russell Wilson back, though, fully healthy. So that's going to be a huge plus in this game. We're just going to have to control, try to control this high-powered flying offense in the Falcons. All right, here comes Matt Ryan having a great year so far. 15 touchdowns to only three interceptions. Let's see what he's going to do here. Play action and immediately I got burnt badly by that last week. But Shaquille Griffin is there to break it up. Third and ten here. Big play for Atlanta. Big play and they find their tight end Austin Hooper for 15 over the middle. What a throw there by Matt Ryan. He had to put a little, little bullet on that right there. Hits him right in the chest. First down. So they are going to hand the ball off here to Freeman, who breaks a few tackles. Ends up losing some yards, but showing his ability to be able to break tackles consistently, and he's done that so far. It is going to be a third and nine here. Matt Ryan's going to be in the gun. They're going to play action it. Matt Ryan's going to go on the run and throw it over the middle, and Julio Jones is going to make that grab every time. It's going to be a second and seven. They're going to line up tight here, Atlanta is. Going to be a little ball there, and Calvin Ridley can't hold on to it. That's a tough one for Atlanta. Man, my problem with calling zone coverage is they will shred you in zone coverage. This CPU will. And man coverage, they just shred you anyway. So it's really pick what you need. Like right there, I needed Bobby Wagner to play that under route. Yeah, I'm not sure what to do there. I mean, I called cover two. I would expect my linebacker to go underneath there and make that play. But it doesn't happen, and it looks like they're going to run in here with Freeman who cuts back inside, and Cam Chancellor there is there to make the tackle. Second and eight here. Matt Ryan is going to hand it off to Devontae Freeman, who's able to get a good gain there, and that's going to bring it within a manageable third and three. Third and three here. Very big play. They're going to pass it. And he's got Mohamed Sanu wide open for the touchdown. Atlanta marches down the field and scores. Play action has just wrecked this team of late. Don't seem to have an answer for it. And I'm not sure why because we are really good against the run. So, uh, it's able to hit Mohamed Sanu there for a touchdown. Likely will go up 7-0 on us. And here comes Russell Wilson. That's a sight I've been wanting to see here. Coming back from injury. Really needed him. It's going to be a very big impact, I do believe, is I'm just going to have to get the ball away, and it's nearly intercepted. Man, offensive line isn't doing Russell Wilson coming back any help. It is going to be a second and ten here. Let's see what Russell Wilson can pull out. As we're going to throw it, and Doug Baldwin catches it. And he's got a lot of room here. A defender is catching up. And Russell Wilson hits him for about a 50-yard bomb there on the sidelines. Doug Baldwin just makes the cornerback miss completely. So we did have to go out and sign a running back after Chris Carson's injury. We're going to bring back the former Seattle Seahawk, Thomas Rawls. We'll see what he can do for us here. And he's going to get the ball. Doesn't get a lot on his first carry, and he is injured on his very first play back in Seattle. We just had a horrible time with our running backs here. Third and eight here. Atlanta might be bringing a little pressure, but we have somebody open, and that was a bad play. I thought that might have been pass interference. But that's Desmond Trufant there for you to break it up. I might have had a little longer to wait for that. But I'm telling you, these running backs are dropping like actual flies, bro. They like they get injured. One gets injured every game for half the season. They're going to go empty here. What is that? Intercepted. What the hell was that? 
Dude, I can't get an interception to save my life. I'm telling you, we're just having a rough time over here, dude. Just a rough time. Horrible things are happening. Third and ten, though. Can we get a stop? And they hit Sanu. He's, oh, and he breaks a tackle. Just because we couldn't catch two interceptions, bro. Horrible by my defense. It's going to be a first and ten. They're going to do a play action. And Matt Ryan gets sacked by Nazir Jones. Offensive line just did not account for him. And he comes in hot and hits Matt Ryan there. That's going to push him back to a second and 19. What does Atlanta want to bring here? Matt Ryan's going to be under center. They're going to do a little play action, and he's under pressure again. Frank Clark this time gets in there for a sack, and that's going to bring up a third and 23. Third and 23 here. What does Atlanta want to try to do? We're going to call cover four, and Matt Ryan's just going to run for it. He's got a long way to go. They're going to be at the 48-yard line. Gets a lot on that scramble, eight yards. First and 10 here. We're going to have to roll out with Russell Wilson, and we're going to fire back across the middle to Tyler Lockett. And he's going to make a grab. That's the plays I miss seeing from Russell Wilson, like just like that. So a third down here. What can Russell Wilson do coming back? Can we find our tight end? And it's broken up. Atlanta is doing a great job at breaking these passes up. So we're going to pin the ball inside the four here. Atlanta's going to have to start in their own end zone pretty much. And Devontae Freeman nearly gets a safety. Oh, Cam Chancellor was right there. Second and 14 here. They're going to hand it off to their fullback who couldn't get out of the end zone. We're going to get a safety there. And we're going to get the ball back as well. Cam Chancellor gets his safety. So it's going to be a first and 10 here. We're going to do a little play action with Russell Wilson. Gets rid of it immediately to McBride. And he's going to get about three here, there. Not much. Second and seven here. We're just going to have to get outside the pocket. And I get sacked. Vic Beasley, who is leading their team in sacks, gets another. Third and 15. What is Atlanta going to pull up here? They get a monster pass rush off. I have no time to even react. That's Cack McKinley there. That's going to hit us. It's going to break up a fourth and 22. So after a holding penalty on Atlanta, they're going to call that back there. Now to a second and 20. Let's go ahead and see what Atlanta is going to be able to pull up here. Lining up three to the right. They're going to just get it out to Mohamed Sanu for a little five-yard gain. It's going to be a third and 15 here. We'll see what happens. We're going to pass it. And, oh, that could have been pass interference. Shaquille Griffin, though, is able to stop Julio Jones. And that's going to bring up a fourth down. So Seattle's going to get the ball out back after forcing a punt on defense. Cannot seal the edge there. Seattle can't. That's been a problem for them the last few weeks, I would say. So it's going to be a second down here. We'll see what we can do. Just going to float it up there. And Baldwin's going to come up with the grab. Make someone miss. And that's just a connection between Russell Wilson and Doug Baldwin. Coming back, it's Wilson's first game. And that's just where he feels comfortable going with. So it's going to be a new set of downs. Again, we're going to hand the ball off to Rex Burkhead, who breaks through a few tackles. And he's still going. High stepping out of the tackle. Oh, my God. Rex Burkhead with a monstrous 31-yard gain, just breaking tackles. Second and 10. We are going to have a little time here in the pocket. Not a lot, though. As I'm just going to try to get it away, and Brown jumps for it. Russell Wilson throws it on the run. And they're going to get the touchdown to Jerron Brown. And that was a risky play by Russell Wilson going across his body like that, but it ends up working out. So they're going to line up in the bunch formation. Definitely not my best uh, best defense to go against that. Uh, Matt Ryan here is just going to toss it underneath the Austin Hooper who jukes out somebody. There is going to be a flag on the play. 
So after a face mask penalty, that's going to put the Falcons up to the 45-yard line. They're going to try to get the running game going. Freeman tries to spin his way inside a hole, and it still does not work. Second and nine, they're going to play action it again. And they've got that wide open to Calvin Ridley. Play action, I, I don't know why. It's just destroyed us these last few weeks. I don't know why. So a second and ten here. They are going to line up to the right. They're going to do a little play action now and find Calvin Ridley wide open who doesn't make it into the end zone. He stopped at the one-yard line. Second and goal now. Can we come up with another stop? They're going to hand it to Freeman, and he's going to fight his way into the end zone. He gets the touchdown, and they're going to take the lead. So we're going to get the ball back after Atlanta drives down the field and scores very easily. We're going to throw it, and that's going to be intercepted by Campbell. Russell Wilson's first interception since being back, and that was just a bad read there. So Atlanta's going to have the ball. They're going to hand it off to Freeman, and there's nowhere to run. It's going to be second and 11 here. Atlanta's just going to do a little play action like they've been doing, and he finds Muhammad Sanu. It's going to be a first down again for Atlanta. They're driving. Matt Royan fires it to Austin Hooper. So it's going to be a second and goal now. They're going to throw it to Hooper, and he doesn't get the touchdown. It's going to be a third and goal now. He's going to roll out. Matt Ryan is, and he gets sacked by Frank Clark, his second sack of the day. Seattle came up with a little stand there once they game close to the red zone. So Seattle's going to get the ball back here. We'll see what they can do. They haven't done much yet. But they're going to get the ball to Obregon, who has amazing speed. Second and two, we're going to motion out McBride and run it with Rashad Penny, and he's got a lot of room there. And he's in the positive, at least. So it's going to be a second and ten here. We're going to get the ball away to Austin in open field. And he's going to get a great gain there. And that's going to take us to the two-minute warning. So it's going to be a first and ten here after the two-minute warning. I'm just going to fly it deep to Obregon. And he can't make the one-handed catch. He was on Desmond Trufant, their best cornerback. It's going to be a second and ten here. Going to have to get outside the pocket and just throw it across his body. And somehow Obregon comes up with that. And it doesn't get intercepted. Another risky play by Seattle. So it's going to be a new set of downs after that great grab there. We're going to see what we can get here. And we're going to toss it to Jerron Brown who's going to make another grab. He caught the touchdown grab. So we're going to line up in a tight formation here. Clock is winding down. Rashad Penny's going to have a little room. And just trying to drain this clock here. So it's going to be a first and goal here. We're going to snap the ball and toss it up. And McBride comes down with it. He beats Trufant on the fade route. As a rookie, beating a cornerback of that caliber on the fade is just... It's no joke, and he really made it look easy. Just went up and got it. Kind of reminded me of like what Jimmy Graham was like for him. Just went over the top and picks it up. That's the plays I thought McBride would be able to make, and he just made a great one. We are going to go for two here. I know it's a little risky, but I would like to go up by a field goal if at all possible. We'll see. Russell Wilson has a wide open lane now, and that's too easy. Now we're going to get a chance to return this. This should take all the time off the clock and take us to halftime. Tyler Lockett's got a little room. Not a huge amount, though, and that's going to take us to the half. So, I mean, I like the way we're playing. We started off a little slow. Russell Wilson's a little rusty from being injured through a pick, but altogether we're playing decent. We're holding Julio Jones under wraps. Calvin Ridley could be a problem. But uh, our defense stepped up when it needed to, and our offense is playing pretty good, except our running. But our pass game is pretty good. Russell Wilson's able to have control of the offense, really, and just move the ball pretty much easily. We haven't had any drives really stall out with him. 
But let's go ahead and get into the third quarter here and see what happens. So it's going to be a first and ten. We get the ball to start things out here. We're going to hand it off to Rashad Penny who loses his balance. And that could have been a pretty big run. So it's going to be a second and ten here. Going to just toss it out here to Baldwin who's going to come up with the grab. That's another big connection to Baldwin. Second and ten here. We'll see what we can get done as we're going to get it to lock it. And he's going to pick up about eight yards. So it's going to be a third and three here. Pretty big play. We'll see what we can get done. As I'm just going to run it with Wilson. He's got a lot of room. And he just gets out of bounds. We're not going to take any more contact with him and risk injury furthermore. So it's going to be a new set of downs here. We're just going to pass it here to Vanette, and he's going to come up with a nice grab on a little play action. So a second and four here. We're just going to get the ball off to Baldwin, who's going to catch it and be down to the six-yard line. What a grab, and what a day Doug Baldwin is having. He's already over 100 yards. So it's going to be a third and goal here. We're going to line up tight. But we're going to pass it. Oh, and Obergon had a step on him. Russell just overthrew him. And we're going to stay on the field here. Fourth and goal. Can we pick it up? Let's see. We're going to pass it to Obergon. And he's got the touchdown. His sixth of the year. And he's a really a breakout candidate for Offensive Rookie of the Year. And maybe best wide receiver. He leads the league in yards. So... Adding to that legacy already, he is Obergon and Russell Wilson connect. So Atlanta's going to have the ball for the first time of the second half. Let's see what they do after Seattle goes down and scores pretty easily. They're just going to throw it deep to Julio Jones, and he pulls it in. What a grab. You knew eventually he would get into the game, and I believe that's his first catch. So it's going to be a second and seven here. Calvin Ridley is going to be working on one of my rookie corners, I do believe. But Nazir Jones gets in there to sack Matt Ryan. That's going to bring up a third and 17. So a big third down. Are they going to maybe lose some yards here? Matt Ryan just has is standing in the pocket. He's got all day. He's got all freaking day, bro. And he's going to get a touchdown. How do you give somebody that long in the pocket, though? I know I only rushed three, but Jesus. They're going to cut it back into with a field goal score, I do believe. So it's going to be a first and ten after Atlanta scores pretty quickly. We're going to run it here, and we're going to toss it out to Penny. And he doesn't get any yards. Loss of four. So it's going to be a third and 14. We're going to toss it here to McBride, who nearly hauls it in. The one-handed snag is denied. It's going to be a first and 10, a little play action here. And they're going to hit Julio Jones, who is double covered. And he's really coming on now. It's going to be a second and 10 here. And I barely missed that pick right there. I was trying to get to it. So a second down here. Matt Ryan's going to take it. And he's just going to fire to Hooper over the middle who seems to be wide open every play. Atlanta's going to line up in the strong formation here. It is going to be a pass though. And they're going to find Julio Jones for a great play. It's going to be a third and goal here. They're going to motion out. And they're going to fire to Sanu for a touchdown. That's going to give him the lead. All right, we're going to get the ball back. Trailing here in the fourth quarter. No, the end of the third, actually. We're going to hit our tight end there on a little route, and he's going to break a tackle. And he's going to be up to the 50, and that's going to take us to the fourth quarter. All right, so fourth quarter, new set of downs. We'll see if we can get any yards as Rashad Penny is hit before it can really get going. And that's been a big thing today. Second and eight here. We're going to step back a little bit and throw a screen pass to Tavon Austin, who has a lot of speed and gets to the outside, and that's going to be a touchdown. The speedy Tavon Austin is going to get a touchdown on just simple screen pass 
And that's going to give Seattle the lead back very fast after Atlanta just scored. That's how explosive this offense is going to be. So it is going to be a another new set of downs here for Atlanta. They scored last drive. I expect them to be aggressive this drive as he gets sacked by Steven Nelson flying in off the slot on a blitz. And that's going to be the fourth sack by Seattle today. So now it's going to set him back pretty big on a second and 16 now. Matt Ryan's going to take it, and that's fired and incomplete to Julio Jones. A rare drop by him. Third and 16. Showing pressure Seattle is. Matt Ryan's going to roll out, and he's going to try to fire it, but he gets sacked by Cameron Wake. So Seattle's going to have good field position to work with here, as I'm just going to throw it to Baldwin. He's going to make the grab, take a hit, but he makes it. So after a horrible delay of game, we're going to be backed up here to a third and ten. Very bad for us. Um, yeah, so we're going to have to see what we can pull up here. Going to be on the run and throw it. And that's a dot to Obregon. Wilson hits him in stride. What a throw. Wilson was going to his left. Yeah, we're going to have to take a look at that again. Russell Wilson fuels the pressure coming off his left. Rolls through the pocket there. Knows he has an opening right here. Just fires it. I mean, that's such a little opening he has running on the left like that. That's a tough throw to make right there, and he makes it easily. All right, short, short down here. It's manageable to pick up. We're going to run it with Rashad Penny, and he's going to break off a few tackles. And I think he ends up picking it up. He does. So pretty big second down. That's going to be a wide opening for Rashad Penny. He's going to take full advantage of that. It's going to be third and inches, and we're going to bring Rex Burkhead into the game. He had a massive run at the beginning. Let's see what he can do now. And he's going to, I mean, he just breaks off tackles, and now he's injured. That's outrageous how many injuries we get on the running back position. It really is. So it's going to be second and goal. We're going to roll out, and Russell Wilson gets hit immediately. Third and goal here. They're going to line up a little tight. Not going to have a lot of places to go right here, and I'm just going to throw it, and Vanette's going to come up with the grab, and he's brought down at the one-yard line. So we are going to go for it again here on fourth down, fourth and goal. Can we pick it up? We're going to be tested, and that's going to be caught by the net for the touchdown. A five-touchdown day for Russell Wilson passing the ball. So Atlanta is in a really tough spot. They need to score fast. No doubt they can score fast. That's what I'm going to try to prevent here. They do have one of the more explosive offenses in the NFL. Matt Ryan here is being very dangerous. He just doesn't want to throw the ball away is the problem for him. So it's going to be a second and 10 here. Matt Ryan's going to have all day in the pocket. And he's going to fire to Calvin Ridley. And he's really emerging as one of the top receivers for the Falcons. A lot of the attention goes on Julio Jones, but he's left wide open most of the time. So now this is one of the bigger third downs of the day. Matt Ryan, he's got some time in the pocket, and he finds Julio Jones. He's going to get the first down and be downed at midfield. So it's going to be a first down here. They're just going to throw it to a wide open Calvin Ridley, who's got an opening, and he scores a touchdown. Oh, my God. Calvin Ridley was left unblocked. So it's going to be a second and 13 here. Just going to toss it back for Obregon, who makes a great catch. And that's going to give us another first down. So first and 10, we're going to send Abregan in motion here. And we're just going to give him the ball again, and he's just getting yards, bro. Just after the catch, he has a lot of yards. He just went over 750 yards on the season. Rex Burkhead is back in the game. Can we seal this victory or not? He's going to fight for the first, Rex is, and he's going to get it. All right, second and 13 here. 
We're going to have to get outside the pocket and we get sacked. I can already tell I'm not liking the look of this. Third and 24. We're going to line up in the gun formation and just fire it deep. That's pass interference, bro. I don't even care what they say. That's P.I. all day. It's going to be a first and 10. We were able to down them at the two, which is very bad for them. They get the ball out to Hooper, though. And they're going to be in hurry-up mode. I do believe they are. So I expect them to try to move the ball very quickly here. Second and five. They're going to do a little play action, and that's left wide open. Julio Jones down to the 30. This time it's going to be a second and three. The clock is winding down. Matt Ryan's going to throw to Ridley over the middle there. All right, they're moving. They're moving really fast, and this is scary right here. First and ten. Matt Ryan has all day, all day, and he's just going to check it under to Freeman. They don't seem to want to be using these timeouts, which might be hurting them very badly here. About 20 seconds remain. They're going to fire it all, and it's almost intercepted. So it's going to be a third and nine here. They're just going to throw it to Sobert, who has a... That's field goal range, I would believe. So they might try to run the ball here. We'll see. Now they're going to go play action. What a call that was. And Hooper's going to get out of bounds at the 27. So they're lining up. This is to tie the game late in the fourth. Can Atlanta make this? Cameron Wick gets through and he blocks it. Oh, my. And the clock is going to run out. Seattle wins the game. Cameron Wake. Oh my god, dude. I can't believe this. Cameron Wake got through and blocked the game tying kick. That is outrageous, guys. That is going to be the episode. We're going to leave it on that. I will see you guys next time. If you are enjoying, make sure you hit that sub button. And if you are subbed, make sure you have the notification bell enabled so you'll get notified every time I post a video. And please share this video with your friends if you enjoyed. I will see you guys next time. Peace out.